procession of head torches. My lower back is so painful. Oh, nearly there. We've got this. <laughs> For the clouds, that is absolutely madness. Well, it's a real place to be. <laughs> Good morning, and welcome back to Malaysia. We've crossed the South China Sea, Hello. and we're now in Borneo. Today, our mission to reach the summit, or today and tomorrow, of Mount Kinabalu. I'm out of breath already. The tallest mountain in Southeast Asia, and I'm doing it with a plastic bag. So he's got a plastic bag. He's got a, a new shoes. He's got our new shoes. We spent all day kit kitting out, getting ready for this. Well, Tilly did. I've got nothing new, just my Nike running shoes. I can. You feel prepared? Do you feel ready? I feel so ready. If I can't do it now, I can never do it. That's the spirit. Yeah, 4,000 meters, the summit. And we're going to be there in the next 24 hours. Let's do it. Malaysia's tallest mountain and the tallest in the whole of Southeast Asia. <laughs> oh, they're so bushy. Yeah, yeah. They're so like shrews. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. In England, they're so scared of you, they just run away. Yeah. This is our guide yeah. for the yeah. climb. This is Jeru. <laughs> Oh, they're so cute! Oh, he's coming right towards me! One kilometre in, 2,039 metres of altitude. Tilly's carrying a bag by some miracle. And now I'm absolutely flying along. It's only fair. It looks like it's going to be some good view up here. You can see Mount Kinabalu for the first time. The summit looks really hard. Yeah, the summit is tough. Got that to look forward to at uh, you have to rock climb 2 a.m. tonight. Right, very lucky, yeah. Sometimes this area cloud. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. You can't see anything. Yeah. Wow. Actually, you're lucky. Wow. Lucky yeah. today. Look how amazing it's over there. The jungles of Tornio. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, Welcome. Only another four kilometers to go. No, four point five. Yeah. We go six kilometers today. Yes, six kilometers. Ah, oh, we got but this. Jerry, is it like this, or you go steeper? Um, sometimes like this. Uh, yeah. Okay. And then last up the lunch, last two kilometer is very steep. Okay. okay. Yeah. Got that to look forward to. The bag will be lighter though. Let's <laughs> all the snacks we're eating. Ready to swap. Swap what? Swap the bags. Swap this. <sighs> you know that. Grandma's shopping for military run pack. <laughs> Third of the way through. Not much to report really, apart from no. a lot of stairs. I have nothing, nothing <laughs> left in me. You're done. Mm. Suck it off, go on. She's carrying the bag again. So nice when you carry the bag. This is not the same clip. She's carrying it twice. Last time you lasted about five minutes. You you not carry the bag. No, you've ready a clip that this time. <laughs> We're doing good on the time. We are. Till he's got rid of the bag. Ten hours later. Seven minutes. Are you timing me? One kilometre to lunch. Woo! Well, the people coming back look really, really they tired. Look dead. Yeah. I was saying good luck as well. Yeah. Hmm. It's a bit more treacherous. Good one, I've got my new, uh, what are those? We made it to the lunch spot. We did it, guys. 4K. Took about two hours, maybe? I think it's exactly 12.30 now. Yeah, about two hours, three hours. Not too bad. Now we're going to eat our lunch, get some energy, 
we go again. Look at that. There was a slightly Ch bigger one, veg. so make sure you just get the bigger one. Ed. I don't know which one. Chicken and veg. And what's in there? And chicken and veg. Oh yes. Look at that. It looks so good. Nutritious and delicious. We don't have forks though because Tilly, uh, <laughs> do, you want, do you want to explain what happened with the forks? I chucked them. I thought they'd weigh us down a bit. Two, Two wooden forks. They're wooden. Oh. Hey, Is that good? Mm. Okay, we're gonna eat this. See you on the other side. Bringing all the food up and down. They must be bringing the rubbish down. Wow, shout out to them. God's work. We're at the top. <laughs> Alright, our bag's lighter and our belly's fuller. Does it actually feel lighter? I've re-energised, I'm falling over backwards. Oh jeez, Louise. <laughs> we've eaten all the weight in the bag. Now we're flying along. Oh, let's go, let's run. Let's run up the mountain. I saw at the start of the world record from the gate to the summit is two hours, 20 minutes. It's kind of insane. We'll break that next time. Over the next two kilometers, we get past 3,000 meters of elevation as well, which is where the danger starts coming, isn't it? What, so we just need to do this really slowly? Yeah. Above 3,000 is where altitude sickness kicks in. Oh, look at the clouds. Yeah. Keep this nice and safe. Where's yours? I threw it away. You want to take the bag? Not for a bit. I'm willing a bit. She's lying. These lovely red trees. They're so nice. Maybe this isn't a Venus flytrap. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like one, though, doesn't it? Jeru. Yeah. What is this? It's a pitcher plant. Pitcher plant. Yes. Oh, I thought it was a Venus flytrap. Like, um, the local is Kung Kuang. Wow. You eat it? No. 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 But is it like clothes? No. Oh. But sometimes the inside have um, water. Yeah, actually, can then eat. the insects can. coming. Ah, uh, oh. you put the sticky rice in it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm, cool. It's apparently you can uh, eat it. They've eaten it. Use it, it. Use it at the. <laughs> At the vest. Oh okay. wow. But eat just eat the sticky rice inside. Yeah. Oh, we've got to do that. Yeah. Pick it? You like it? No. no. On the way down maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we run out of food. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that one is so big. Really? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is a... Because uh, yeah, there's little that yeah. dot, that's the yeah. one. This one Over is there. small and Smaller. this one is the big one. The wow. Big one. Yeah, it's huge, isn't it? Yeah, you're good, you find the big one. Well done, Ed. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? From Thailand. Oh, nice. Yeah. Country, yeah. 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 Our little bag carrier extraordinaire down here. Yeah, but you're going to have to take it now. I did well. You have done well. That was a good stint. It's a lot more open now. Yeah. A lot hotter. Just cut himself. Dangerous out here. Oh my god. Wow, it looks like fake. We're at the five kilometer mark and we're officially over 3,000 meters. That's where we need to start going slow. You alright? I've got my new sunglasses on as well. Bought them in uh, Mr. DIY in a Malaysian wall for one pound wall. The yeah, altitude sickness is getting to me. Malaysian mall for one pound. Do you like them? How icky are they on a scale of one to ten? She was wearing them earlier and she said they were good. They're quite useful. I love this forest. So nice. It's like a load of bonsai trees. It's like we're in Roald Dahl or something. We need snacks again. Snacks, snacks. 
I said to Red, I was like, I feel like I've been eating all day, but I think we just need it. Energy. Energy. You ready to go? I'm finding this hard now. <laughs> Feels like the air is really thin. So I'm just showing you this because it's really nice. Well, I don't know, I'm physically finding it hard. I think everyone is. You just said that everyone does find this bit hard. Is, you just got to get to the camp and then you rest, sleep, and then you are that when you acclimatise. Okay. We got this. I want tour guide Barbie. My lovely Jeru has taken our bag. He insisted for the last five minutes. He's the goat. He's the goat. He's the goat and we need bed. He does it um, three times a week. And he was like, it's easy. <laughs> and he's done it for 10 years. I mean, how many times is that? 150 times 10, 1,500 times. That's a lot of climbs. Approximately. All right, anyway, we're close. I can see it. Let's do this. Let's go. Let's go. It's oh. everything I imagined it would be. It's like heaven up here. You made it. You look good in those sunnies. How good do I look? 10 out of 10. Solid nine and a half. It's just the shoes letting you down, I think. That's it, we're done for the day. Now we've got to find our dorm, which I presume is in there. Eat some dinner and go to bed at probably like 6 p.m. To be fair, I'm tired now. Yeah, as soon as it's dark, I'm just going to try and sleep. Because we have to get up at 1 a.m. to make it to the summit somewhere up there uh, before sunrise. See what our comms saying. What do you reckon? Like the Marriott? The cheapest one. Oh, yeah. Cause it's not it's not cheap to climb this mountain um, it's very regulated very controlled yeah we found one that was about as cheap as it could be constructed in 1985 the buffet's gonna be so good <laughs> Oh Let's go! Yeah. Oh, perfect! Wow, look at this. Thank you! So, I think you have another one hour to start to dinner. Yes. Okay. If you go to dinner, can you bring your ID? Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, tomorrow morning, 1.30, you go to supper again. Yeah. And then, 2.25, you start to submit. Okay. 225. Yeah. Okay. Where will we meet you? Downstairs? Yeah, 215. 215. Yeah. Okay. So, can you bring your ID, water, chocolate in the jiva, yeah. head lamp, glow, yeah? yeah? Water, it's water. Oh, yeah, I know, I know. It, it will be cold okay. up there? Um, sometimes no. Yeah. 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 Enjoy your dinner, sleeping, yeah. and. Okay, we'll, we'll see, see you in the morning. See you tomorrow, 215. Yeah. We've got this. Okay. Look at the summit up there. All right, oh no, that guy's in a Man City shirt. Should I throw a rock at him? I just met this guy in the shower queue who is... I was looking at the food pictures, obviously. The food he... looks so good. And he was like, the food's really good. We ate so much last year. And I was like, oh my God, great, I can't wait. And then I was like, oh my God, you were here last year. And he was like, yeah, we didn't summit. They were the only group in the month that didn't summit. Fuck. And they were waiting, waiting till like 3.30. But if you look on here, This photo here. It's just like water, you said. It's like water. Yeah. Basically, if it rains tomorrow in the night or all, all day heavily, you can't go to the top and you have to just come back down. But, um, fingers crossed they won't happen to us. It's this scheduled to uh, not rain at all. 
tomorrow. I checked the weather forecast. And that's what our guide said as well. But obviously, it's born, yeah, and we're up a mountain, so things can change. Who but. knows? And anyway, we're gonna sort out our stuff for tomorrow for the night climb. Yeah. And then we're gonna have dinner after that, aren't we? I can't wait for dinner. It's dinner time. Look how cozy this uh, guest house is. Yeah. Oh, you can. Did he just check if she can come back? I oh, she was gonna load up the biggest plate in the whole world. <laughs> He's going for five for rounds. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm gonna go for Asian food. No, 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 no. Thank you. I'm just gonna go for the noodles. I don't know. Okay. A little bit more. Thank you. I'm going Asian first as well. I'm going Asian first, and I might come back for a pasta meal. <laughs> yeah. Lamb, I've had lamb for ages. Okay, does it have any nuts in it? Nuts. I have an allergy to nuts. Oh no, no nuts. No nuts. Yes? Yeah, I'll try. Thank you. Okay. I'll have both, please. Okay. Thank you. Peace. Terima kasih. Yes, please. This one? Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. everything. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They look too good not to have right this now. This one you cannot eat. This okay. is something. Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. I'll come back for the chips. I'll okay. just have this now. Thank you. Okay. How's the food? Good? Really good. Malaysian food is just the one. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. What's happened there? I was hungry. I was getting tired. What should I get next? Momo tata. Momo tata. Momo tata. Okay. Apparently, it's red beans. But they said, they said that I can eat it, they must have nuts. Oh. oh, you're going to like that, I think. Maybe it's <laughs> so like rice pudding. Come on, we feel. You have to go to London to find them. Let's go to London. Let's go to London. Let's go to London. Let's go to London. It's like rice pudding. Yeah. Rice pudding. Rice pudding in here. Oh, oh you're calling rice pudding. Wubu cha cha. Wubu cha cha. Is it nice? Oh, here we go. We've got the full selfie circle going on. Okay. One, two, three. Yay! Okay. Now we're having a ginger tea. Everyone else is drinking Coke, coffee. I mean, I just don't know how they're going to get to sleep. I'm having beers over there. I feel absolutely exhausted. It might be altitude sickness. Oh, did he feel the sickness? Did he feel the sickness? It's 5.30 and I don't feel like we're to sleep now. I'm going to bed as soon as it's yeah. dark. I want to find somewhere to watch the sunset and then I'm wearing his bedtime. That's the plan once I finish our ginger tea. <laughs> We're not going to look at the sunset because we're sleeping at half six. Um, our dinner was very nice. There's a nice sense of camaraderie down there in the, in the clubhouse. I mean, clubhouse. It feels like a clubhouse. Yeah. We had three courses and some ginger tea, didn't we, sleepyhead? I'm so tired. Um. So, yeah, we'll see you at 1 a.m. Where we Wait, climb. Our neighbours aren't here and I don't know where the hell they are. Yeah, but the people we're sharing our dorm with still haven't arrived, which might be the biggest peach ever. Or we might go to bed and they might come in stinky, smelly, loud and... But I think we should go to bed now, so then with like... We're asleep with the light off, like... Surely you've got to be quiet. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, anyway, yeah, we'll see you at 1am for the assault on the summit in the dark with our head torches. To 4,000 metres above sea level. Yeah. You ready? I don't feel it now. Hopefully I will be.
bed. Morning. Hello everyone. You sleep well? Yeah. Right, it's half one in the morning. Ow! We got a oh, decent God. amount of sleep. Tilly's back done for. I don't know what's happened. Maybe we she got too gas with the bag yesterday. Um Somehow, no oh. one came into our dorms. So, like, there's people here in like 16 bed, 20 bed dorms with just like random strangers everywhere, which we were perfectly prepared to do. And we just. We were just waiting and waiting for them to come. Yeah, they just never came. So, we just had we this had room to ourselves, which is just such a peach. It's just so nice, like, not having someone snoring and stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's just so lucky. Anyway, we're just packing our bag for the summit. Then we're going to breakfast. Then the great, the great assault on Mount Kinabali begins. I've got eggs and noodles, saba tea, which are hopefully the acclimatization apparently. Tilly's got white bread and butter. And she's over there filling up our water. Let's eat. We've been reunited with Jeru. He's had three hours sleep, he's ready. Tilly, are you ready? I'm ready. Put your head torch? Yeah. I am ready. Those are the kind of 20 man dorms. Those are the kind of 20 man dorms people are sleeping in. We should have a little room to ourselves, even though it's so cheap. And the weather smiled on us. No rain. Perfect conditions. Let's do this. Let's do it. Here we go. There we go. This is our Everest. The summit. Here we come. 800 meters. Yeah. In altitude. Oh. Like, Three yeah. kilometers of uphill trekking. A bit of a traffic jam up here. It's not I a, don't mind that. It's not a quiet climb, that's for sure. It's not, but I don't mind them. It's a little break. Yeah, they only had 150 people a day climb. It used to be 200, but then there was an earthquake. Now it's 150. Still feels like quite a lot. Here's the long line of head torches. Really hot. Take your hat off and your gloves. Oh, I'm sorry, I had to take my clothes off. It was too hot. So. Can you take off your jacket? I took off my jumper oh, and my hat. Okay. She's better now. I'm good. It's a procession of head torches. Making their way to the top of Malaysia's tallest mountain. Will we make it? I got brave mode on my head torch now. QQ to start doing it in so long. Start a little pop, start a little party down here. Six hundred meters to go. Wow, well, the lights going all the way up the mountain are so cool. Can't see the stars as well because my GoPro can't handle that, but they're pretty amazing. How you doing? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Just a bit tired and just keeping myself to myself. I see how it is. How are you doing? I get the message. No. I feel like absolutely I mean, fine. I just mean I haven't got the energy to speak. Fair. I'm trying to conserve my energy. No, that's probably wise. We are mostly to the start of the rope, yeah? Yeah. With a guide as good as you, anything is possible. Uh, yeah. Yes, this is true. Until he takes the rope. Here we go. Oh, it's easy. Beast mode. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh, no need the rope. No need the rope. Okay. Thank you. I just have to go. Hey, George, it's very heavy. <laughs> <laughs> Too much breakfast. <laughs> Oh, I'm tired now. You got it. Oh, 
found it hard. I found it easier with the rope. I just can't hold my body weight. Yeah, you don't have the type of body strength, do you? Okay, I'm good. Thanks, Jerry. Oh. Onwards and upwards. 400 meters altitude till the summit. This is the checkpoint? Yeah. So we just have to show our pass? Yes. I gave my pass away. <laughs> He's joking, don't worry. <laughs> you don't know him. B H. Okay. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, thanks. Hello, your break, water? Yeah. Sounds good to me. Thank you. We've had a little break. <clears throat> And some Gatorade in our system. Yeah, that Gatorade really coming in helpful. And power on. You okay? Yeah. The task ahead is never greater than the strength within. <laughs> no words. The headache. You headache? Yeah. Don't look at me. Don't look. Okay. Take your head torch off for a little bit. Yeah. Last bit of the ropeway, I think. And we're on to the flat. Okay. How you, how you doing? I've got a really bad headache. Just gotta keep going. Push through. You want to take the bag? Huh? You want to take the bag? Are you asking me seriously? No. <laughs> Your bag carrying days are over, aren't they? No, I'll, I'll do it on the way back down, but I just feel like we want to make it to the top. No, no, I'm only joking. I need to conserve my energy. Bag's a lot lighter now that we've left a load of stuff at the dormitory to pick up later anyway. 1.1 kilometres left. We got this. 700 meters to the top. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Cold up here. <laughs> I can smell the summit. It smells good. It smells like Oreo chocolate. We got chocolate, we got a chocolate bar each when we get to the top. Come on. Come on. That's how near we are. I think this is the tough 200 meters now. The final push. You can wait for him. Yeah. I feel lost about him. Oh, okay. Jerry's our guiding light. They so said to follow him up the last two. Well, we better do what he said. This is supreme. I'm tired. <laughs> Hug. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 100 meters to go. Okay. Are you resting? Oh, go to sleep. You have a nap. <laughs> I'm so tired. You have a nap at the top. Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm really. I'm see Ed. Nah. Put all my calves to cramp up. Oh, my lower back is so painful. <sighs> Nearly there. We've got this. That's it. That's the top up there. Looks like Clapham Junction Station. Doesn't it? We're in rush hour. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Just a little queue. Get to the top. The sun is rising. The reward we all need after a hard morning or really night climb. This queue is ludicrous. This queue is ludicrous. We are near here. Look at the sun. I'm glad we got away here when we did. Yeah. There's a big queue to get a photo up here. Imagine what Everest is like. I said maybe not as many people do it. I don't mean you can faff for this long at Everest. Okay, next, next, next. Okay, you last? Next. Have you all won? 
Worth the climb? Worth the climb. Look at the cloud, that is actually madness. It's cold up here though, I won't really lie. Cold. Yeah. Yeah, do careful. Not full of a cliff after all of this. Uh, after a slightly treacherous shortcut, we've dodged the insane traffic jam for the photos at the top. Made worse by people taking hours. So I'm not letting get to me. <laughs> now we get to enjoy the view. <laughs> what a surreal place to be. It's amazing being in front of and above the clouds. Isn't it? It's pretty cool. Huh? It's pretty cool. Chocolate? The sun's peeking over this slightly inconveniently placed uh, <sighs> bit of rock. But can't really complain when you have a view like this. Can you supreme girl? It's my favourite bit. Ah, headache, Ed. Ah. You alright? Uh -oh. oh, God. You okay? Have some Gatorade. And maybe we just start heading down. Mm. Alright. Now it's time to go all the way back down. Look at her go, she's so nimble. The sunrise was about 6 a.m. We left at half two, so it took us three and a half hours to do that last bit. That's actually insane. It, was only like three it felt a lot quicker though, didn't it? Did, it? it did. So basically, from here, if it takes us the time we did, did to get from the base camp to the beginning, as in the very start, which we have to do now again today. It'll be like nine hours. I think it'll be a bit quicker though, it's downhill. I hope so. <laughs> Tilly's had enough. <laughs> it's so true that you have the motivation when you're trying to get to the top, and as soon as you get to the top, you're just like, can I get helicoptered to bed now? <laughs> I, just, I just feel really cold, I just feel a bit out of sorts. That's all right. Is that the technique, yeah? yeah. Zigzag. Zigzagging. Like you're running away from a crocodile. I would move faster than this. Well, that's next week. We'll find out. Oh, God. <laughs> so many challenges in this trip. <laughs> this is just the beginning. My sunnies are out again. She just said she's jealous. I am. I really could do with some. This is what we bought in Mr. DIY in the mall. These for one pound and your hat was one pound as well, wasn't it? This was the best purchase. This. The fake My Malaysian shoes. supreme hat. And borrowing this. Yeah, the sticks come in clutch. It's very yeah. chill on the way down now as well. Oh god, yeah. It's very uh I don't know, it's like it's like meditation up here walking through through this lovely shrubland. The landscape's so interesting. I don't think I've really seen anything like this before. No, it's cool. I don't really know which way to go down. I think you need wider diagonal paths. One side of the island to the other should do it. Eddie and his lean back technique. This is how you go down a steep mountain like this. Wow, you do look and, weird. And it's a good dance move as well. Take that one to the club. Sorry. Go to a club tonight. This looks so cool. The mist's coming in now, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Clouds are rolling in. Wow. Back at the checkpoint. Thank you. Here we go, real rock climbing, rope climbing. Abseiling. It literally is abseiling. 
This is the really steep bit earlier, isn't it? Yeah. You're right, I think it's better to go backwards. Yeah, just go backwards. God, this is hard. Wow. Pretty amazing view from up here. So green. We can see it. We can see camp. And what awaits us there is food and bed. Yeah. We, in <laughs> we made it. Easy. No, that was hard. It's been quite a morning, that's for sure. But now we get a short break and some food for the journey downwards continues. It's careful. We post ourselves back home. Oh well. Go. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it to breakfast. I've just got pure noodles for breakfast. I can't be asked for anything else and some tea. Silly, what are you working with? I've got eggy bread, honey, egg, and a coffee with creamer. Nice. We're just regaining our strength for the final. How long does it take to get back down? Like four hours? I mean, hopefully it'll be quicker on the way yeah. down, but that was fucking hard coming down there. Like, I was really good. Yeah, I think the temperature change on the way down was, was tough to deal with. It went from really cold to, to like, insanely hot. Um, we've had a shower now, we're eating our food, and we're going to press on and finish the job. <laughs> I've got one celebratory beer. Get you so wet. It's a victory. Yeah, I like Tiger. It's, it's, it's quite warm, but it's not warm. It's not been in a fridge. It's been outside. Tastes good. Well deserved. I'm just here with my coffee and my creamer. This altitude beer is getting me nice and drunk. Tilly's getting stressed. Tilly's hating on me. I just want to get going, and he seems like he's just wanting like, yeah. I'm having a great time. I probably won't be after four hours of downhill trekking. You want some beer? I'll trade you. I'm too waved. I can't. I can't drink anymore. I've had half a can, and I think I might vom. <laughs> Second breakfast. Second breakfast. We've had second breakfast. And we've had a beer at our second breakfast. How many plates of eggy bread did you have? I think I had in total 16 eggy breads. Not joking. That's an it. Right, we're actually leaving now. Maybe. Should we have beer for the road? <laughs> right, we're about 15 fi we're about 15 minutes into our descent is it going well i am drunk <laughs> how are you doing we got this home straight my bath is waiting for me <laughs> did you dream of a bath I'm just dreaming of bed and the prem. It's time. 1k down, five to go. Yeah. Gets easier though, doesn't it? Nah, probably not. And now we're below 3,000 meters, so we can start feeling a bit normal. Yeah, get that good, thick, oxygenated air back. 
well, there's a lot of stuff. We're back, back at the pitcher plant we thought was a Venus flytrap. Yeah. Feels like only yesterday, doesn't it? Yeah, we're making solid progress. Mainly because our legendary guide has taken the bag. Um, well, I refuse usually, so it's like you can't climb a mountain and suffer someone else to carry your bag. Like, that's just, I'm sorry, like, that's not climbing a mountain. Um, but I've been carrying the bag all day and it's got me and Tilly stuff in it, so I deserve some time off too, you know what I mean? Don't you blame something? <laughs> Plus, I got a bad shoulder, if you've been noticing, I've been one strapping the bag this entire last two days, and I'm kind of like. Fuck it. Also, I think Jeru at this point is like, the quicker we get down, the quicker we can go into bed. So he's like, fuck it, I'll take your bag. We tried to, we tried to say no, he insisted. And these special circumstances will allow it. It's not a disqualification, is it? Still overseas, still running ahead. Yeah, he's trying to set the pace. I think he's got a hot date tonight. Oh my god! You get that in the village. That is disgusting. Wow. It's big. Yeah. Sometimes you see, sometimes no. Yeah. Ooh. I hope we don't run into one of them. No. Are you scared of them? No. You aren't. Okay. That's... Let's go. Back at the spot we ate lunch yesterday. Tilly is literally saying, you're nearly at lunch to every single new person who passes us. Also, we get us further away from lunch. <laughs> <laughs> it's the motivation they need. They're where we were yesterday, basically, where you're coming up and you see the people coming down, you're like, oh. You got this. <laughs> Good times. We're having a laugh now, we know we're nearly home. They're like, for fuck's sake. No, you are in spirit. At this point, you are, it gets a lot harder. Here we are, I remember this bit like it was yesterday. Is that getting old yet? Is that getting annoying yet? Mm. You covering your spot? Okay. <laughs> Two kilometers to go. Helipad that way. Helipad? Please. <laughs> I'm done. Closing in, 200 meters to the gate. Wow, Someone climbed in two hours, 21 minutes. That is crazy. After walking for God knows how many hours, so long. We've been escorted into this buffet lunch. Very fancy. Here. I don't know. Well, look, it's, it's World Luxury Hotel Awards winner every year, apparently. Who does the awards? I think they just print them off. <laughs> It is a lovely hotel, the buffet is delicious. Yeah, we're going to have dreamed of much more after that, they said. We've got enough chicken there. It's not it's for you, is it? Oh, it's for me, is it? While we're on the topic of food as well, the food throughout this whole trip has been really, really good. And I don't get me wrong, it's expensive to climb the mountain, but you do get value for money. And when you climb a mountain, you're usually expecting like a pot noodle or a tam sandwich at best as your food. And like everything's just been... Really good. Our packed lunch, the uh, the buffet, the, wherever the we fuck had about we stayed. Buffets at various we were, times I can't we're, remember. Wherever we had two breakfasts today that feel like a year ago now. This, the packed lunch, did you say that? Yeah. But also, I think. Um, sorry, it might just take me a while. Um, but but everything. Everything's been so well organised, like literally from we climbed the mountain, we got to the bottom, about 30 seconds later we were in a bus 
coming to here like I normally we don't like to do really organized things but when you're paying for it I feel like it's nice to make sure everything runs smoothly do you agree yeah it's nice to, it's nice to get value for money as well like, like I said it was expensive it is just expensive to climb this mountain but it doesn't feel like we've been robbed yeah it doesn't feel like we've been robbed blind I mean look at this shit this is free there's a buffet it's not free it's a buffet we're gonna make it free the amount of food we're eating. As well. I'm gonna apple, put, apple I'm gonna fritters. fill up my bag with rice, take it home, eat for the apple next week. Fritters, eggs. Apple got fritters. Apple fritters. Well. I know we're gonna eat as much food as possible. We'll I don't know, see you outside, I guess. Oh, a wall. This is a wall. <laughs> this is a wall. This is what we feel like mentally. All right, it's morning. over. We've done it. Good is it the morning? No. We've literally waited like 13 everyone. hours. Um, it's done. We've, we've, done we've it. conquered Malaysia's tallest mountain. We've conquered Southeast Asia's tallest mountain. Tilly, what are your thoughts on the climb? To sum it up, not as hard as I thought it was going to be. So I've got a big spot. I agree. I think not like as hard as I it was going to be. people make out like it's a lot harder than it actually is. Very it's not easy. and I love the terrain of the rock. That's my favourite. All right, highlight and low light. Highlight, uh, highlight. When we were walking down just as the sun was rising and low light uh, probably last night after breakfast last dinner. night after breakfast yeah after dinner i was tired at like six. Oh, fair okay yeah i agree it wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be but a lot of people we spoke to said it was like the hardest thing ever and it wasn't easy don't get me wrong but yeah i thought it'd be a bit more difficult my highlight probably when we'd gone to the top and it started getting light on the way down and we kind of, it kind of revealed all what we'd walked through, that really nice rocky, That's grassy... That's what was my favourite part. Is that That's what you what just said? Saying, but in a less poetic way. Is that what you just said? Yeah. That's how Rob br br destroyed I am mentally right now. I literally in process what you're saying. I mean, I was just dreaming of bed the whole time she was speaking. When she stopped speaking, I started speaking. My low light... It's, it's harsh to say, because like you said, you like the organisation. For me... If a mountain climb is like 80% a staircase, it's like, I'm okay with it, but it's, it's not my ideal mountain climb. Like, I like the organisation, I like the food, I like having a bed, but like... You prefer a bit more adventure. A bit wilder, a bit rawer. Um, and also, yeah, like even at the summit when there were so many people trying to get that homes, was, yeah. it was quite busy and like a bit like traffic jammy, but... No, all in all, very good experience. Really glad we did it. 10 out of 10 would recommend to Shout out to our guide as well. He was the biggest oh, he legend. Was so he was just such yeah. a G. He, he helped us so much, was just so kind. Just the perfect amount of talking, not talking, leave us alone, helping, not helping. He was yeah. just, yeah, he was he was such a boss. Um, yeah. yeah, that's it. We're going, we're going to bed. We're, we're done. We're finished. Um, so, bye, everyone. Yeah, goodbye. We'll see you next week from somewhere Another else. Another adventure! In Borneo, probably. Oh, Maybe God. something crazy. With let's, animals! Let's find out. Bye-bye. Oh, no, with, with animals!